What's up guys? Welcome back to Raptor Tech's fun videos. And today, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so sorry for the delay, but it was very unexpected. We were going to go see my cousins and uh, it got canceled because my sister got sick. But then the next day, she felt fine. So I guess we rescheduled and to the next day, which just happened to be the day that I got my package right as we were leaving the mailman came and gave it to us so i only had enough time to get it out and then we were leaving and i didn't want to break it while going to my um <clears throat> going and so i left it at home but now we're back and now i'm so excited to see it are you ready <clears throat> well let me introduce you to the one and only Ultimasaurus. Yes, guys, this is the rarest Jurassic Park toy in the world. Now, <clears throat> it's not the actual prototype. It's a replica, and I'm a, I believe it's 3D printed, but it's awesome. Um, I got this for Christmas. It came late because um, just uh, it came late after Christmas, but... Here it is. It looks so awesome. It's not painted, but I will paint it, and it's going to look so cool. I, I just, I can't wait to paint it. But I also, um, I'm nervous to paint it because I don't want to accidentally, like, mess up on the paint when I'm painting it. Because I want it to look perfect. I want it to look just like the prototype, uh, or whatever was in the catalog. But... I just, it's so cool. It looks exactly like the prototype. It's so cool. So, if you don't know what the Ultimasaurus is, it's a cross between um, a Tyrannosaurus, a Velociraptor, Triceratops, Ankylosaurus, and Kentrosaurus. So, yeah, it's a crazy hybrid. Even more crazy than the Indoraptor, I think. Um, but they discontinued this... Well, they never released this because its horns, I guess, were too sharp for kids to play with. I guess they hurt themselves on it. I don't know what the 3D print is, but, I mean, they're not that sharp. They're just sharp, same as the Velociopteryx, I think. Um, it might be the tail spikes. But I did notice that in shipping, although after I got through the 30 feet of bubble wrap... <laughs> uh, well, the tips of these spikes did come off during shipping, but that, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I didn't even notice it until now. Um, but yeah, the little tips I found in the box, sadly. Um, but, I mean, if I wanted, I could probably fix that, but I'm not going to because, yeah. So, what this is is just a replica of the prototype. Um, I think there's two prototypes in the world. Maybe, I don't know. I think there's two. Um, so this is just a replica of it. And there's a lot of pictures. Um, and if they, if the person, one person has a replica of the prototype, they can somehow, like, scan in it. And, like, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how 3D printers work. And, like, they make a 3D model or a 3D print of this. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know nothing. I don't... I have absolutely no clue about anything about uh, 3D printers, so let's go take a look at, since we, there's it's not painted, so let's go ahead and take a look at, like, the shape of it. So it looks exactly like the one in the pictures, but um, I did see on the teeth here, you can see they're kind of a little messy looking, um, and you can see that it's definitely like a 3D print because... It's like little knobs here, and I don't know if you can like smooth those out with sandpaper or something. I don't know. I'll have to like ask and see, but like right here, you can see on the tip of the toe claw, you can see there it's a little bit uh, rough there. And on the horns, the underside of the horns, they've got a little bit of rough there, but. Other than that, it's awesome. I love it. And there's, like, a hole in its head, but I don't know if the prototype's like that. But that does actually allow it to open its mouth. Um, yeah, and what I like so much about this is that all its joints are movable. Um, like I showed you the jaw moves. 
and you can the jaw and the inside of the mouth is like super detailed that looks really good for something that's just a 3d print you can definitely see the 3d printed texture yes i know what that looks like because i have we went to um a science center and they had for <laughs> 3d printed free little animals and yes i have one so i know what that texture looks like um and inside the mouth it looks really good i like what is this gray stuff is that do they like paint it or something or spray it with something after it's done because there's like some places that are blue some places that are like pure white it's really weird and especially inside the mouth you can see that white in there there's a little metal bar there allowing its uh, mouth to open and close i'm i'm pretty sure that this was uh already not assembled and i'm sure the person had to assemble it because that metal bar i'm pretty sure the 3d printers can't 3d print a metal bar but it's not as big as i thought it would be um but let's go ahead and look at the like uh posability so of course the jaw we saw that the arms are posable yeah um so like the arms they can like move in and out and they're posable like right here i don't want to break it so i'm just gonna say that it stops about here and it can go up to here i don't i don't know what i'm saying um the other arm it it's a little more loose with the moving in and out but it also moves all the way <laughs> it looks like it's like hmm what are you doing <laughs> i don't know it just looks funny and it moves just down to where that one is. The legs are a little bit posable, kind of like, um, you know, I don't remember. There's one Jurassic Park toy that would only, like, move its head, maybe, or it's, like, that much. Maybe it's the Velociopteryx. And the other leg moves. Oh, and I totally forgot. The toe claws move. But they are, like, springy, so, like, you can't actually pose them, but it's, like, uh, you can move it. That's cool. So, um, I don't know if the, like, toe claw movement is, like, something that was actually on the prototype or if they just added that in because it was fun. I like it. it and honestly, it reminds me of the Utah Raptor more than it does of the Ultimasauruses that I've seen that are 3D printed. <laughs> it's like the Utah Raptor toe claw, got the weird arms. And I know you're going to think... And the Utah Raptor doesn't have weird arms. Let me show you. It does. Arms are weird. Where is it? Okay, so back here in the back. So I reorganized my collection today. But, like, it's, I don't know. Its hands are just kind of weird shaped. Like, it's all, like, give me a high five. I'm a Utah Raptor. Hey, Ultima Source, give me a high, fi high five. <laughs> or a high three, I guess. Um... And its arm is all bent. I don't. I think that's just the way mine is because I can't can't move its arm up. It just stops on the jaw. Oh, its leg is kind of like the Utah Raptor. The Utah Raptor only moves about that much. Uh, and yeah, the Utah Raptor's toe claw is posable, but it doesn't. It's not springy like the Ultimatosaurus is. <clears throat> and okay, so this part I was kind of. It, I don't know. I saw this and I we were leaving, so I had no time to like mess around with it. So I thought, you know, that da dino damage just has to come off, right? But then, like, I was trying to pull on it and I couldn't get it off. I didn't want to break it accidentally, so I just left it there. And when I got back, I just had to know if it came off. So I slowly, like, kind of like popped up this side. And I saw there is texture under there, so I know that it comes off. I'm not going to do that on camera because I have to, like, be really careful. I don't want to break it. Okay. Okay. Got it off. So the dino damage comes off. You can see that it clips on really good. Um, under, it's really nicely sculpted, too. Um, the bones you can see my sister calls my custom ultimasaurus which i do have a video on you can probably go check it out um i don't think it's too far down in my older ones it is one of my older ones but not really um but she calls that one the rib racks because it's got ribs exposed because mine doesn't have a cover i wonder if my the this cover would fit mine probably not 
I don't want to accidentally break this piece, but, um, you can see, like, the, the, like, the meat under there, and, yeah, so this is the original Rib Rex, I guess, the original, because it's the one that was, the Rib Rex was supposed to look like, so now I just call that one the Rib Rex, and then you can pop that back on, um, um, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and, like, look at the details of this. You can see the eye is sculpted out really nicely. It's ear. I never actually noticed it had an ear. Until one time I was, like, looking at the pictures of some, like, replica prototypes and prototypes. And I saw it had an ear, which is kind of funny. But I think the Velociraptorx has an ear, too. Now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe it does. I have it right here. Still in my bag. I literally just got back from visiting the family. Oh yeah, it does have it has an ear too. This is the only other Chaos Effect toy I have. I really want to get the Paradynonicus, but uh, probably won't happen until next well, my birthday probably. Oh, um, so let's go back to this, and you can see the face is really nicely sculpted. This horn right here, maybe that's the sharp horn. I'm thinking it's the one on its tail because they're more sharp um and yes you can hear my chickens they're right there i had pet chickens um you can see its beak here which is the triceratops in it um inside of the mouth here uh we can't like say how bad the slappiness of the the teeth are because it's not painted i know people that review things always say how sloppy mattel paints their teeth so I mean, this is a Mattel, of course, but it was originally Kenner, but this is just whoever made it, but it's not painted, so it doesn't matter. Um, but the inside of the mouth is really nicely sculpted. You can't really see it on camera, but it is sculpted at the top of the mouth. And then the bottom of the mouth, you can see the tongue and those teeth. It's got something jiggling around in there. I'm not sure what it is. Um, the armor plates on its back are really nicely sculpted as well and like the horns here they're pretty good um and you've got like these random little pieces of i don't know what like here i pulled one off it's just a little hair of something didn't do anything it was just a little place that wasn't right um and the texture of the skin is really nicely sculpted out too um, the bottom of the feet are, like, kind of, like, hollow, kind of, but not really. Um, usually I don't like that, but in this case, I don't really care. The Lossiopteryx doesn't have it, so who knows? Maybe the prototype did, maybe it didn't, maybe that's just because it's a 3D print. I don't know. Um, but there we go. I'll probably do a video when it's painted of it. I'm still really bummed about the broken, uh tail spikes but you know what that happens a lot to me i i the tail club on my ultimate source customs are so bad they always fall off so i'm not really surprised that it happened so thank you all for watching if you did enjoy make sure to subscribe to see me painting this or not painting it but like after it's painted um, make sure to like this video, and Happy New Year's, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!